Hi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you a vlog of my process on starting a new painting. Um, this painting, I'm calling it Spreadsheets. If I didn't put a teaser in this video, then you'll see why. I started this project in January. Pretty much all of January was the planning phase of this painting. I was also planning another painting that I hope to start soon. I started actually painting this in about February and then Pretty much all the footage that you're going to be seeing is from February up until about July 2nd. So about five-ish months of work. I'll explain a little bit about the process of making this painting as we go along in a little voiceover. So to give you some context for things, that's that's, uh, that's pretty much the whole, the whole deal. So on to more important things, how do you like my new haircut? I, I got bangs, as you can see. And got some layers situation here. Um, so please leave your constructive compliments below. Probably should have styled it better and more. Um, but I, I got in the shower and then I kind of let it air dry. And then I just kind of touched it up a little bit. So it's actually not like the best styling that I could have done for this hair. And I'm going to have to leave to pick up my daughter from daycare soon. So um, yeah, I'm, I just, I got to finish the video. I'll be back at the end of this video to um, give you my farewell. And in the meantime, enjoy the vlog and enjoy the voiceover. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? So my husband's out of town for just the night. So I just thought I'd film a little clip because I'm gonna work on some stuff. My goal this year is to finish two full paintings on canvas. So I started doing some preliminary sketches on my iPad. And so this is what I got so far. It's going to be a painting of me and my daughter when we went apple picking this past September. You'll have to wait and see what the other one's gonna be. I think I already know what I'm gonna paint for the other one, but uh, yeah, that's what I'm working on. Um, so. Welcome to the voiceover. In this clip, you see me working on a sketch of one of the paintings that I would like to do. Unfortunately, this is not the painting that I will be starting in this video. I didn't actually catch footage of the one that I started in this video. Um, but yeah, I was doing some preliminary sketches on my iPad. The one I did end up um, starting first was a picture of my desk at my work. and. This might seem like a very mundane thing to paint, but um, I thought I really like when painters paint things that are just part of their normal everyday life. And I thought, well, this is my everyday life. I should paint this. So it had been quite a long time since I actually picked up a paintbrush and painted on canvas, probably at least six years. I think the last time I even attempted to paint was when I was newly married. Um, and now I've been married for six years. So it's been at least that long. So it was a little bit intimidating to get started on this, you know, just working on it a little bit at a time. If you saw my previous video about how I um, make time for art, then you will know that I spend about 20 minutes a day in the morning doing some art and that's how I make progress on these things. All right, so that's what, here, let me bump up the exposure a bit. Hopefully the noise doesn't look too bad. I need to get one of my other lights up. But here's what 20 minutes of sketching on my canvas looks like. So it's 20 minutes of progress. So that's all I'm gonna do for today. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but um, when you got other obligations in life, then you don't have a lot of time. So I do what I can. 
Um, so I will be back again tomorrow in the studio to continue working on this. Another reason why I ended up deciding to do this painting first was because I didn't really have a canvas that was an appropriate size for the composition of the other painting that I was sketching at the beginning and I really wanted to start making larger paintings. I know I don't have a lot of time because of my you know, obligations in life, but it's something that I would like to work towards. I wanted to do two full paintings on canvas this year, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. However, I'm still going to attempt to finish this painting by the end of the year. I'm really glad that I was able to take the time this year to get started on a new painting adventure. I think because it had been so long since I painted, it became this task that was built up in in my mind. I, I don't know, you know how like sometimes you have special supplies um, that you intend to do something really just amazing with it. And the longer those supplies sit there, the more anxiety well, at least for me, the more anxiety I have because it's like, okay, that initial spark is gone and now it's like, you gotta, you gotta do the work. And what if the work isn't that good? But a large part of getting good is doing the work. Look! That's incredible! I love it! Thank you! Just give it a Okay. Hey, make sure you put your yellow paper on top of your white paper so that way you don't get paint on the carpet, okay? Okay. paint and then once I put it on here it becomes a painting. I like, I like white. You like white? Yeah. Oh no. Hey, go wash your hands, okay? Okay. I was really glad that I was able to at least put some time in and and get the, um, a good portion of this painting done earlier this year. Um, it really helped me to get out of uh, that funk where I was, you know, a little bit scared and apprehensive to paint again because it had been so long. Um, and once I, it's like one of those things, once I got started and built some momentum, it just felt good. So my last little thing that I want to say is that one thing that helped me um, a lot with this painting um, is just picking one area each day and focus on that. Because especially if um, you know, you're only going to be painting for 20 or 30 minutes, then you really want to make sure that um, you're using that time wisely and effectively um, so that you can actually 
make some progress. Um, so personally, I think where this painting is at, I feel like it's like 80% done. Like the major areas are blocked in and now like the rest of the 20% is refining and um, details, I think. Uh, and in my opinion, that's the part that takes the longest. It takes um, twice as long as it did to to uh, plan and do the underpainting and block everything in. I feel like it, it like that's where most of the work is, honestly. So, um, but I also feel like that's the fun part because that's where it all comes together. I feel like this is the ugly stage, which is the part where like I really hate the way it's looking. And then once I start getting into the detail stage and really make progress there, then I actually start to like the painting. So looking forward to that. Hi, it is 6.40 in the morning. Um, it's been a little while since I've been able to actually wake up early enough to do some work on my painting. I actually managed to wake up early enough today. So I'm gonna paint a little bit. Um, and since it's been a little while since I've worked on this painting, um, I got, I'm not gonna lie, I am a little nervous. So, and I'm trying not to talk too loud because my daughter's in the other room sleeping. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start working on this a little bit. Okay. So I prepped my little tray here to, which I use as a palette, but, um, as I'm looking at this, I'm trying to figure out where I should focus my efforts on. Um, I know that I was trying to fix the shape of the um, coffee cup last time, and then I still haven't finished like kind of blocking out um, like this picture that's in here. And then I know I was trying to fix uh, the stuff that was on the monitor stand and I was working on the keyboard. There's a lot of different areas that I could work on. So I need to figure out which area I want to work on right now. I feel like maybe I should like kind of flush out this pencil cup area a little more. Um, just feel like not very well defined right now. So maybe I will work on that. Um, yeah. But overall, I'm pretty crazy with the progress of this painting. I, I think it's uh, going pretty well. So um, I'm gonna try to make a little bit of progress today. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that um, it was fun, inspiring, dare I say. Um, I obviously, as you can see at the end, have not finished the painting yet. 
but I'm hoping to make more progress on it soon. I wasn't able to get more progress on it like I wanted to, mainly because at the very beginning of this year, I actually got a new job and that just kind of like threw a wrench in my whole life routine. And then I also got really sick for like several weeks. And I just could not physically wake up early in the morning, which is usually the time that I do my art practice. The heat has been a whole thing. Where I live, it gets to be like 105 in like the peak of summer. And for you metric people, that's about 40 degrees. So it it gets really hot and it really just takes it out of you. So I'm trying to get back on that horse. I will probably, probably get that energy back as the weather cools down and I hope to make more progress on it soon. Anywho, that's where the painting is at right now. So even though I didn't finish it. I hope you still enjoyed this video and I hope that it encouraged you to start something new and just start creating even if you don't have a whole lot of time and have fun with it and be inspired and all the things, all the things. In the meantime, don't quit your daydream and I will see you in the next one. Bye.